What's up guys? So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a one hour transformation for Valentine's Day for you guys. Haven't done a transformation video in quite a while and so I wanted to do one for this you know, holiday. I did one for New Year's Eve and a lot of you guys really, really liked that video and so I decided to bring it on back and we're going to do a transformation for Valentine's Day. I have a bunch of new products that I want to tell you guys about and like show you guys. And so yeah, I'm very, very excited for this video. So if you guys want to see how I transform from this to a bad bangle bitch for Valentine's Day, then just like keep on watching this video. So you guys, I posted on my Instagram that I got um, the new Kylie line for her Valentine's Day collection. And that's basically what we're going to be using today because I'm really excited. Have not used it yet. I specifically wanted to get like my like reaction on camera. And so I have her, um, one of her lip sets, liquid lipstick, a um, lip pencil and then also a gloss so I'm really excited to use this I've already swatched these because I just could not wait but we're also going to be using her new palette which the packaging is the cutest thing literally ever I'm obsessed with it have not swatched this yet like literally the casing the filming of the palette I mean the film for the palette is still on there not really the biggest fan of like this like I kind of wish she would have put the red light lettering on this but whatever it's all about the colors I guess but it literally still has the plastic like full on it. None of these shadows have been dipped in before. They're literally all brand new. Like I literally have not even swatched them. Okay, apparently my light is like too bright, but um, yeah, don't really know what the heck I want to do for the eye look today. I have not worn eyeshadow in like a month and so I'm kind of a little nervous. My eyelashes, I'm getting my eyelashes fixed tomorrow and so usually I don't wear eyeshadow because with eyelash extensions it's very very hard to get off but I'm getting these fixed tomorrow so like if they messed up then like whatever like I'm getting them fixed. I'm not really quite sure what look I'm going to go for. I know that I want to wear a red dress like I already have in mind like how I'm going to do my hair and how I'm going to do my makeup. I feel like I haven't made one of these videos in quite a while and I'm really excited to make this. I already put my eyebrows on before this video, as you guys know. Just can't really do my eyebrows on camera. I did it them on camera for like one of the first times ever in my Bratz video. So all of you guys asking for an eyebrow tutorial, there literally is basically a mini version of an eyebrow tutorial in that I also ripped a chunk out of my skin on this finger. So that's why I have a band-aid. Like literally right before I filmed this video, like a full-on chunk of my skin came out. Literally hurts so bad and I was totally contemplating not filming this video because I ripped a chunk out of my finger and I was really annoyed that I did that. I feel like I've just had like a very stressful day today and I'm gonna tell you guys but I feel like I've just had like a difficult day and I also feel like I have a lot in my life that is occurring that I need to like update you guys on. I feel like I feel like I haven't talked to you guys and like haven't really like given you guys like a lot of updates about my life so I'm excited that I'm doing this video and I'm excited I'm going to be talking to you guys. I already have my eyebrows on. I'm trying something new today where I don't conceal the top of my eyebrow because usually whenever I conceal the top of my eyebrow, my forehead for some reason is a very flaky place. Like my makeup always clumps like above my eyebrows and my forehead and so I'm just not going to do that today. For the first set of products that I want to show you guys today in this video, I have two different primers that I've been trying recently that I really like that I want to tell you guys about. The first one is the No Pore Blem Primer from Touch and Soul. It looks like this. I got this in my BoxyCharm box. If you have BoxyCharm, you probably got this primer. I love it. It literally is so good. It makes my skin feel so unbelievably soft. And then I'm also going to be using this VDL Lumi Layer Primer that I got from Yes Style. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link to this product in the description box down below, as well as a coupon code for this website. No, this video is not sponsored, but um, I have a coupon code with them, and I really like this primer. It's a very, very glowy, like luminous. We'll put it right here, and you can kind of just tell that it's going to be glowy and like shimmery. It just gives you that really, really nice highlighting. And so I'm basically going to take the pore primer, stick that right here, and then stick the Lumi one on the outside of my face. I really, really like this primer though. It's so freaking like smooth. It just makes my skin feel, it just glides on. Like so incredibly freaking smooth that it's like unreal. So I'll apply that right there. I'll also apply that right here. Basically just in this general area. And then we're gonna go in with just one pump of this one and just apply it onto the rest of my face. So today I'm going to be doing a combination of two different foundations. One foundation that I haven't used in quite a long time, which is the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation in Y215, which is a very, very light foundation. I also have like not really that much left, and so I'm going to mix it with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Y'all already know the drill. I mix this foundation with so many different things because I want to be darker. My spray tan completely like faded on myself. Your girl's looking like really pale right now, and we don't want that. I don't. I don't really like looking pale. Like literally, like that's how much I have left. Is like that. But I'm basically going to apply this all over my face. My skin is currently breaking out. I tried a new face mask the other day, 
and I guess it just didn't react well to my skin. That's like the only thing that I've changed in my routine and so that's what I'm thinking. It broke me out. Your girl's also currently like on her period right now and so that's also definitely plays a huge factor into my skin. So my skin has a bunch of little pimples on it right now and it's really freaking annoying. I feel like I spent a lot of money to make my face look nice and not have any acne and then I get stuck with freaking acne. Like what's the point in spending like $300 on skincare like if I'm just gonna get pimples? So now we're just going to basically blend that. I feel like I have a lot of things in my life to update you guys on. One being like the most one that I want to like update you guys on is I'm officially, I guess, a full-time like YouTuber. I recently quit my day job, which if you follow me, then you guys know that I had a day job. I didn't really work it that much. I only honestly worked it probably like three times a week, sometimes four, but typically like two to three times a week. And I recently got rid of that. I have like one more day and then I'm officially done because I am trying to take YouTube seriously. I hope you guys recognize that. I hope you guys see that I'm putting a lot more effort into my videos and I'm also trying to be more consistent with my videos and like upload as much as I can. And so I basically planned out my whole entire life on my planner for the next two weeks, kind of like the rest of um, February. I have like my video schedule planned out and like what I wanna do and whatever. Hopefully I stick to that. Hopefully it's everything's all good. I also recently bought myself a brand new laptop. She's so gorgeous. My laptop that I had before, I had for like six, seven years. It was a MacBook. It was one of like the old, old, old MacBooks. Books. Not like old, 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 but like one of the old MacBooks. And so I recently got myself a brand new one. Bought this with my own money. So it's for everyone who thinks that I'm spoiled, my bank account paid for this. This beauty. She was way too much money, but it's okay. I felt like it was a good investment to my videos because every single time that I would edit on my other laptop, it was just so incredibly so. It's just I had that laptop for so long and it I cracked it, I broke it. It was just, you know, it was time for an upgrade. Finally, Kate hurt my bank account and did it. I'm now going to take this brand new concealer that I recently have been using that I'm obsessed with. I feel like I have a bunch of new products to show you guys that I've been loving. This is the Pony Effect Pro Fit Concealer. You can also get this from the same company that I got this from. I basically picked out a crap ton of skincare and beauty products from this one website and that was one of them and I really, really like it. I'm gonna mix it with a lighter concealer because I'm pretty white right now and that's more of like a tan concealer, but I love it. I'm gonna see if it's in a lighter shade. I don't know if that's the lightest shade. If it is, it's kind of annoying because it's a little bit dark on me, but I really, really like it. It's so like a high coverage concealer. Like, look at that, like it just looks really, really nice. All I keep thinking about in the course of this video is like, how excited I am to take this makeup off and take a shower. I'm so lazy that every single time that I get ready, all I can think about is taking a shower and wiping it all off, like taking all this makeup off and just being free. I think we have the base down pretty well. Now I'm going to go in with cream contour. If you watch any of my makeup videos and you know that I love cream contour, I'm just putting some on the back of my hand and then taking an angled brush and then I'm just going to contour my face. I'm getting my eyelashes fixed tomorrow and I'm so freaking excited for that because if you're looking at my eyelashes right now, they don't really look that bad, but there's it's clear that there is a chunk missing. The other night I cried for three hours because I'm currently on my period and the littlest things make me um, cry. I wasn't like sad or anything like that. I was just like very frustrated. I was just so freaking frustrated over an occurrence that like happened and so I cried for like three hours causing a so many lashes like I saw like 15 lashes fall out of this eye and I was like, oh my god. I was nervous like it was like my real lashes. So I'm now going in with bronzer. I'm going to be taking this MAC bronzer right here and apply that on my cream contour so we set it so that it doesn't smudge or get anywhere. The other day I was looking at a bunch of like my old like makeup selfies and I like never really used bronzer or contour and... Now I understand why like no one liked me. I'm gonna take a big, big, big fluffy brush from a Real Techniques, smash it in there, and then bring it down my neck just because there's always somebody that's in the comments that's saying, oh my God, her neck and face do not match. And it's probably because I'm white, literally so white trying to fake that I'm tan right now. You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? So now that that's done, it is time to bake. The powder that I'm gonna use today to bake is my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I am obsessed with this stuff. So glad that I finally decided to um, get it for myself. Actually, I didn't get it. My little sister got it for me for Christmas. I'm really glad that she did that. Basically, all the places that we did not put contour. So I'm gonna do that underneath my eyes, right on my chin, right here, around my mouth. We're gonna take it, bake underneath. Cute. And then I'm also going to do my forehead in the center of my forehead and right above my forehead. And then I kind of just feel my face make sure everything's set. Okay, slightly have a little bit on my nose. I'm just gonna kind of let that sit for 
just a little bit. Now we're gonna go into the eyes, which I'm super excited about. I'm really excited to try this palette. I think I'm gonna do like a pinkish red look. I'm wearing a red dress, but I don't wanna do like a full on red look because I honestly don't know if I can commit to that. So we're gonna use this palette right here, which is so freaking gorgeous. I'm so excited to use it. I have not swatched it. Like, do you know how hard it is for me to get this in my hands and not even like try and swatch it? I swatched this because I couldn't wait, but I did not wanna swatch this. I wanted this to be like a full ass first impressions on camera. I also have this blush that I got from Yes Style as well, which is like a red eyeshadow. I mean like a red blush, but I'm gonna try and use it as like an eyeshadow because it seems kind of pigmented, like pretty pigmented if I wanted to like stick it on the lid or like use it to like blend. So I think I'm gonna incorporate this blush into the eye look too. But I don't know what I wanna do. I have no idea. So I'm gonna sit here and like stare at this palette until I figure out what the heck I wanna do. I haven't worn eyeshadow in so long that I actually think I'm gonna forget how to blend. My ring light is so bright that like my eyes are currently watering right now. So I applied the princess shade just in my crease. I don't know if you can tell because it kind of looks like my skin color. But the next thing that I'm gonna go in with is February, which is a really, really light pink shade. I'm kind of just gonna combine a bunch of colors and pray in the end that this looks good. That's how I do my eyeshadow usually. So I'm gonna go in with February, which is just like a really light pink color. That looks really cute. I used to be obsessed with like pinkish eyeshadows and then I just like stopped wearing them, but I kind of miss it. I feel like I need to go back because I really like the way that like pink eyeshadow looks. I'm now gonna take just a clean brush and just wipe off all the excess powder that I had. Okay, the next color that we're going to use, I think, not get over how stupid these lashes are being. And I'm just I'm gonna go in with first date, which is the red color, and we're gonna see how that plays out into the eye. So it's kind of cute. And I'm just going to blend it in. I'm using the same brush for the whole entire like eye look. If you want your eyeshadows to blend just a little bit easier, I recommend like using the same brush because. I don't know, I literally just feel like it blends so much more better. I feel like my eyeshadow turns out so much better when I use one brush for the whole entire look than if I use multiple brushes. Okay, so there we go with the red eyeshadow. Kind of looks a little pink. Now I'm gonna go in with this little red blush, whatever the heck this is. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna swirl my brush in there a lot, actually. Just kind of apply that to the look. This is definitely making it a lot more red so this is more of like a true red color than the other one that their other red in her palette is kind of more of like a red ish like pinkish color like this one's more kind of straight red but because we applied the pink underneath it's turning to be pink so um now i'm gonna go in with that hot pink shade i feel like we're gonna do the hot pink shade but i think that's going to be our lid color i think i'm just going to apply that on my lid i absolutely hate cleaning makeup brushes so if anyone wants to come to my house and clean my makeup brushes for me um, hit my line. I have like a hundred so if you don't mind washing a hundred brushes then. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the hot pink shade which is called Candied Heart and I'm going to apply that right onto my lid and then we're also gonna add glitter on top of it. This is so difficult with eyelash extensions. I love them and they make me look so much more attractive but I really miss wearing eyeshadow and eyelash extensions. I just cannot do eyeshadow. It's too hard to get off and so I just don't even risk it. Now that looks pretty good to me. I'm liking the way that it's looking so far we're gonna blend it don't worry it kind of looks crazy we're gonna blend it a little bit more but i want to add some like one of the glitter colors to it i think i'm gonna go in with the shade be mine because it's a little bit like lighter okay so i wetted my brush and now i'm going to go in with the be mine shade which is just a really pretty like rose gold pink color and i'm just going to i don't know if you can see it you can kind of see it i'm just going to go in and apply that on top of that pink it's very subtle you can see it. It's very subtle. Okay, so now that I apply that onto the lid, it is now time to, like, blend the eyeshadow a little bit better. I'm gonna go in with this really, really fluffy, like, soft... It's called a soft blender brush. And I'm gonna go in with the first color, Princess. And I'm just going to, like, kind of drag that over the pink just so then the colors blend and there's, like, no harsh lines. I'm gonna go in with this little just pointer brush and I think the colors that I'm going to take are pink problems in february which i didn't use pink problems in the beginning we're just gonna see how that looks i really don't want to apply like red or like a bright pink underneath my eye because i don't really want to look like i have pink eye i definitely feel like we need that hot pink so i'm gonna take candied heart which is that hot pink oh my god i look so cute i feel like i look innocent with pink eyeshadow and so i feel like people like me more because i look more friendly i'm now gonna go in with mascara for my bottom lashes i'm gonna take the Too faced better than sex mascara which i've never tried before 
um, until the other day. So this is my second time using it. I like it kind of so far. Okay, you guys, so I think that is it for the eyes. Now we're gonna move on to like blush, lip, highlighter, all the fun things. So because it's Valentine's Day, I wanna go in with like a pinkish blush. So I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek blush in the shade XOXO, which is just this really little pink blush. My eyes are burning. Like, I don't know why, but they're literally burning right now. And they've been burning for the last, like, seven hours. I've never used this blush before. Didn't really know how it was going to apply, but it's kind of cute. It's a little... Not a little. It's it's a lot of pigmented. It's definitely really pigmented. And I was not expecting that much to come on the brush because now I look like a clown. So we blended the blush. Now it's time for highlighter. I've been using two different highlighters recently. Always I use Amrezy. Y'all know that. But I recently have been using this pretty vulgar highlighter which just looks like this. This is what the packaging looks like and it's in the shade Glow Up and it is so pretty. This is what I've been liking to use on my face recently. I'm just going to tap it in and just... See, just so cute. It's just like a golden um, highlighter. It reminds me a lot of, I feel like a really like close dupe to this one is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals one, which I was obsessed with for like a solid year, to be honest. I was obsessed with that highlighter. And then I'm gonna go in for my inner corner and my nose highlight with a different highlighter. I basically take this really, really thin like lip brush and then we're going to dip into Amrezy highlighter and then I'm gonna go in and that's gonna be my nose highlighter. It's a lot more blinding and I like a blinding nose highlight. So many people always think that I edit my nose highlight like in my pictures, like I'm just like editing highlighter on to make it look like I have nose highlight, but like, no. She's there, look at her. And then I'm also just going to apply this in the inner corners of my eyes. So I look more awake and I don't look like I want to go to sleep on my Valentine's Day day. So now, y'all, it is time for the lips. I totally just found it so country right there. I don't know if it's just the lighting that's like overexposing the crap out of my face. Or if I literally look like a clown. But like I'm looking in the mirror and like I don't think that I look like a clown. But so freaking excited. Look at how cute this is. It's glitter. The set that I got is the love set. So I have not, I've swatched the things so I sort of know what the colors look like but I don't know what they're going to look like with this eye look and I also do not look, know what they're going to look like with the color of my face. I mainly honestly bought this for the lip gloss like I've been really into lip gloss recently and look at how freaking gorgeous. Um, I'm going to go in with the lip liner. It's called You're a Gem. I need to like lick my lips because I feel like they're a little dry. Wow. Okay, really pigmented. I, I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be pigmented, but like look at that underneath line. Like, bitch, she's pigmented. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with the lipstick, which the lipstick is called Wish You Were Here. And it's so cute, it looks like this. Don't really know how it's gonna look with this look. I feel like this is just gonna be like a very, very bold, dramatic look. I usually don't wear lip colors like this, so this is something that is so out of my comfort zone right now. Have you ever seen me with a pink lip? Like, I truly just don't think I've ever worn a pink lip. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss, which is called Sweet. I'm gonna dab it because I don't want, like, the wand to get ruined with this lipstick. Okay, you guys, so we are officially completed with the makeup. Um, so now it is time to do our hair. Y'all know that I'm lazy and I just, I really don't want to straighten my hair and I really don't want to curl my hair either. So we're just gonna result to a slick up ponytail. I like that the best. Okay, you guys, so I changed my outfit. I'm in the dress that I want to wear. And upon putting this dress on, I realized that honestly my hair would just look so much better if I kept it down. And I ran my fingers through it. I don't want to run a brush through it because it's just going to make it frizzy. But I kind of have like some natural waves going on right now. Paris is currently eating her food in the background, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. But my hair, like, it, honestly, like my natural hair doesn't look that bad. And so I decided to keep it instead of doing like a high ponytail because I just feel like this dress, you kind of... I don't know why I thought I could wear a high ponytail with this dress. It looks so much better, like, without it. Um, so I'm gonna put on some jewelry now. I have, these are just the necklaces that I always wear. I'm thinking about taking this one off because it's just kind of obnoxious. But I'm going to be taking in these little earrings that I also got from Yes Style. I feel like this just looks like a total Yes Style sponsored video, but it's totally not. I wish it was, but it's not. <laughs> and they're just these really, really cute earrings. They have a bunch of, like, fun, cute jewelry and i've been trying to like step up my jewelry game or whatever very like different and unique so uh, one of the earrings hangs down low it looks like this i don't know if you can see but there's basically a heart and then this earring is also a heart but it doesn't hang low and so it's like one earring on this side so i usually keep my hair on this side so i'm going to do this earring the small earring and then the long dainty one 
on this ear. So there's the earring. Oh, it's so cute. But um, yeah, this is the completed look. Now we're going to add the final touches. I'm going to show you guys my outfit in a second, but we're going to apply the deodorant and we're going to apply the perfume. I'm going to be using this Dove Advanced Care Caring Coconut. I usually don't use this deodorant, but they didn't have the deodorant that I usually use, but I really like this. I highly recommend this if you're a girl. It just reminds me of the summer and I really want the summer to come back. For perfume today, I'm going to be wearing my YSL Black Opium Perfume which I'm obsessed with. You just kind of smell like a bad bitch when you wear this. Like when I smell this and I smell this on other people, I'm like, oh, she's a bad bitch. But always ladies, if you want to smell good when you hug, like depending on like how you hug people, I feel like I don't hug people this way. I typically hug people this way. And so we're gonna take this perfume and we're just gonna spray it in the back because whenever they hug you, they're gonna smell that, you know? And then just cut the sprays. Ugh, it smells so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend. If you do not have this perfume, either go buy a sample of it or rob a bank and like go get this perfume. I'm just kidding. But yeah, guys, that is basically the completed look from like here on up. Um, didn't have to do my hair, so we love that. But I'm gonna show you guys the outfit and then I'm also gonna show you guys the shoes that I'm going to be pairing with the outfit. I want to quickly apologize for the background mess that you guys are about to see. My room is really messy, but the only way that I can show you guys fully what this dress looks like is in my mirror, which my mirror, you can see my whole entire room. And I have a bunch of laundry piled up and I just have a bunch of crap everywhere. So I'm apologizing right now before I show you guys. <laughs> because I look so dirty, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna clean my room, but yeah. But this is what the dress looks like. It just looks like this. That's my pile of dirty clothes, so I'm gonna put the camera this way. But yeah, um, I don't know exactly, I just totally fell on a fucking charger. Don't know exactly where this dress is from um, because I got this to wear on like my 18th birthday one year and I never wore it. So this is what it looks like. It has just this little like flap in the front and then just in the back, it's just like a very, very tight, like makes my butt look pretty freaking good. It also really does nice on my waist. For my shoes, I'm basically just wearing these like little nude heels from Steve Madden. So yeah, it's basically what the completed look looked like. I know I need to clean my room. My apologies, but um, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more transformation videos. I really like making these. These are super, super fun. If you guys have any like specific ones that you guys would like to see, like a one hour date night transformation, one hour like club transformation, party transformation, whatever, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in that. Don't forget forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you guys will be notified when I post a video. We're so close to 300,000 subscribers, which is so insane and I want to hit it so bad. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you that was literally my alarm to wake up and film this video, but like, I'm two hours early, bitch. It's so insane and I want to hit it so bad. So if you guys are new to my channel and you are not currently subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Also, do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat so you guys can see what I'm doing when I'm not posting a video. Also, as you guys can tell in this video, this is my first video with my new intro and my new outro. I like it, but I honestly don't really know how I feel about it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of my new intro and outro screen. Do you guys like it? Do you hate it? Do you have any suggestions on like how I should change it? I wanted to keep the same song because I feel like that song is just associated with me like it's just associated with my channel so I don't want to change the song but I was just the pictures that are in the beginning of my intro and all my other videos literally were taken in October of 2017 we are now in February of 2019 and so it was just time it was just time and yeah I I like it but I just want to let you guys know what you guys think about it so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that also let me know in the comments down below what your guys' Valentine's Day plans are but yeah I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later bye Bye guys. Been living this lavish, yes I've been had it. I'm a real princess, these bitches is catfish.